first series, man, you gave up three sacks, and, and you guys were kind of able to kind of you know, turn things down. Like, what went into the adjustments that y'all made, or did y'all just say, hey, you got to do better? Uh, we definitely needed to do better, but we just you got to keep your head down and just keep grinding and you know not ride the waves of a game. And it's not the way you want to start a game. And uh, we know we need to be better on things, but in the moment, you know you can't get down on yourself. You got to just communicate with each other, respond. Um, and I th and I thought we did a good job about that, uh, communicating the rest of the way out. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I just know uh, Cordero's a uh, explosive player. He's a great teammate, um, and all those guys really we love blocking for him and just trying to give them opportunities to to make plays. And that's your job really as an offensive lineman is just make sure everybody's assignment sound and those guys can go out there and and be as explosive as they are. What were your uh, emotions, you know, after Russ fumbled the ball and this defense has to come out in the situation that it does? I mean, what was kind of going through your head? I know Arthur was kind of talking about how. You know, if we have the confidence that they'll be able to do it, kind of what were, mm -hmm. what were you thinking at that time? Uh, it's just, uh, you know, as an offense, you go in those four-minute four, four minute situations and you want to put the game away. And uh, that's something that, you know, we're responsible for as an offense. But, you know, things happen, adversity strikes, and it's how you're going to overcome it as a team. Um, and 100% confidence in the defense that those guys are going to go out there and, and make the play, and they did. Um, and just you're grateful for them and you have full confidence in them. But as an offensive guy, you don't you don't want to put those guys in that situation. But you know, again, when adversity strikes, those guys rose to the occasion. Arthur was kind of talking also about kind of the ethos of this team and, and it being uh, essentially playing well situationally and, and really closing out games. And I think y'all are seven and two in one possession games. I mean, what does that kind of say about the the culture of this team in 2021? I I just think there's a, a standard of which. Uh, things need to be and situational football is something that uh, we practice every single day and we try and be great at and try to win and it's not you know it's not always perfect but I think there's a confidence in each other and a belief in this team that uh, anytime we go out there we can win and you know the expectation is that we're going to win and uh, nothing else is good enough um, and just with that mindset you know there's there's great chemistry within our team as well you know there's guys pushing for each other uh, happy for each other when a guy makes a play. They're celebrating everywhere, picking guys up, and uh, I'm just grateful to be a part of it. Chris, uh, first of all, condolences, and I just can't be able to talk about it. What's the last two weeks been mm -hmm. like? Uh, it's, it's, been, it's been crazy, um, but I'm, I'm very grateful to play uh, for an organization and for Mr. Blank and Coach Smith uh, and Coach Quinn when my mom was diagnosed uh, to be able to send me home. And uh, I was able to be with her the last couple weeks. And I was there uh, Tuesday when she passed with my whole family. And uh, just very, very grateful for to be a part of an organization where I was able to go home and uh, have those moments with her. And just really, really appreciative, and my whole family is, um, to, to this organization. And, all the outreach that we've received from the people of Atlanta and just throughout, we're just really, really grateful. Uh, I just think we had a mentality that we knew it wasn't good enough last week, and you know we needed to go out there and we needed to get it done. And we take pride in what we do as an offense and as an offensive line, and realizing that. You know, short yardage, we need to get it done. Goal line, we need to get it done. Um, and I just think we did a good job as a team scoring in those opportunities. I mean, we can watch the film. There's always things to correct. But I think on the whole, we did a really good job just understanding the situation. And, you know, part of it is you're on a long drive. You're a 10 play or 6 play or whatever it is, realizing, OK, it's just not another play. This is, you know, this is a short yardage situation. This is a goal line situation. We need to go. Like, we need to get this. Um, and there's awareness to that, and just uh, we keep grinding away at it. Any more? All right, thank you. Pleasure. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much.